Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, just quickly, we're gonna, in, a, in a minute you're going to see an excerpt from my latest video and it's basically all about direct painting. Doing a watercolour without putting any pencil marks down first. That will follow in a minute. You'll see an excerpt and if you want to see the whole video you have to come to my uh, website, sign up as a free member. That gives you 100% free access to everything on the website. That includes many tutorial videos you can't find on YouTube or anywhere else. Um, it also gives you direct access to the forum, which is a busy forum with lots of uh, um, artist members there interacting on a daily basis. basis. And there's all sorts of things. There's competitions going on. There's a uh, uh, design a card competition now. That's going to be pure watercolour, but you can design your own card. And uh, there's a first, second and third place prizes in that, where you can win water, a watercolour painting or a sketchbook, handmade sketchbook. Um, what else is there? There's... Um, paints and pens and all sorts of things anyway so uh, you know you can come along you can find out you know what's available on that one um, and there's also a challenge coming up at Easter um, where it's a painting challenge over 14 days where you choose a subject and you paint a painting each day to um, to go along with that subject more information can be found out at the website so if you're interested in learning more about watercolor and meeting some other great artists many on the site now come over to <coughs> excuse me uh, purewatercolor.com the link is below the video um, yeah come have a look and uh, join in it'd be great to have you there okay um, enjoy this little video like I said it's all about um, painting uh, directly on the paper without using um, any pencil to start with just to basically help you free up a bit so uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope to see you at the forum Bye for now. Cathedral, the kind of the right size. If I if I get this too wrong, the whole painting will be out then. And it's just like a silhouette. Lock the shapes in initially, as good as I can. I go back and put a second wash in later to sort of give them more just darken it down a bit now because as I come to this part of the painting they're clearly want to get that nice dry dry brush effect on them so they look broken and not solid they, we don't want our trees looking like lollipops we want them to be looking more like trees I guess well, that goes actually down a little bit further I really want to get this right, this tree. I think that's probably about that. I'll just have a little bit of sort of like a greeny, grey, mauve, oh, I don't know what colour it is really. Um, and we're just going to have a go at putting that in here to about that point. There's a little light piece on top of the wall, which is quite important to get in. That's another shape. Um, We're only doing, and I don't mind the colour running into the into the road. A bit more blue. We painted this without any pencil marks at all. Some people might find that really beneficial because they don't like, or uh, well they say they can't draw. So the option to be able to go straight in with paint is a real option. Just to give it a bit of interest. So 
So thanks for uh, taking time to watch the video and I hope it helps out. Bye for now.